The Dark and Criminal History of Gucci Mane Gucci Mane is an American hip-hop singer and record producer who pioneered trap music, a hip-hop subgenre. Radrick Delantic Davis is his real name, and Gucci Mane is his stage name. Love him or despise him, one thing is certain, there's no denying Gucci Mane. The marble-mouthed MC with a snotty flow, born on the outskirts of Bessemer, Alabama, United States, but made in the streets of Atlanta, has spent the better part of the last 15 years overcoming just about every obstacle thrown his way, many of which he created. His authenticity is out of this world. He has released more mixtapes than anyone else, gotten into more legal trouble than anyone else, spawned more protégés, and recorded more regional hits. Gucci Mane has been arrested numerous times. Do you want to discover more about Gucci's criminal history? Well, don't worry, we got you covered. Hello everyone and welcome back to Jail Insider. Today we will talk about the dark and criminal history of famous rapper Gucci Mane. But first don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you don't miss on any of our future videos. And let us begin. Gucci Mane was arrested for the first time as a rapper on May 19, 2005. According to reports, the five men ambushed Gucci, but he was able to acquire a gun while scrambling to defend himself. Gucci then started shooting at the robbers, killing one of them in the process. That man was Henry Clark III, better known as Pookie Loke. Pookie Loke's body was discovered three days later at a local middle school. Following the discovery of Pookie Loke's body, DeKalb County issued an arrest warrant for Gucci Mane. Gucci Mane was charged with first-degree murder. Gucci Mane surrendered to DeKalb County Jail on May 29, 2005, claiming he shot Pookie Loke in self-defense. Gucci later posted a $100,000 bail and released his debut album, Trap House, the same day. Gucci Mane's murder charges were dropped in 2006 due to a lack of evidence. But Gucci Mane was arrested for the second time in July of 2005. Authorities claim Gucci was arrested for an assault that occurred earlier that month. Gucci Mane allegedly got into a heated argument with a club promoter at the offices of Big Cat Records, the label to which Gucci was signed in 2005. Gucci Mane struck the club promoter with a pool stick as the argument heated up and continued to do so after he fell to the ground. Gucci Mane's lawyer claimed after his arrest that the accusations against him were false and that he was not involved in the reported fight. Gucci Mane pleaded no contest to the charges during sentencing in October 2005, but was found guilty. Gucci was found guilty of two charges, aggravated assault and aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. Following Gucci's release, the judge sentenced him to six months in prison and six and a half years on probation. Again, Gucci was arrested for the third time in September 2008. Gucci Mane was sentenced to 600 hours of community service as part of his punishment for his 2005 assault case. Gucci, being the hard-working man that he is, must not have had time to do this because he was arrested for only completing 25 of the 600 hours of community service he was ordered to do. Gucci Mane violated his probation by failing to comply with these orders, and he was eventually sentenced to six months in Fulton County Jail. Gucci debuted in March of 2009. Gucci's fourth arrest occurred in November 2009 when he was scheduled to appear in court. Gucci Mane was found to be in violation of his probation again during the court hearing, and he was escorted out of the courtroom in handcuffs. Gucci Mane was in prison until May of 2010. During his incarceration, Gucci released his first major label album, The State vs. Radrick Davis, on December 8th with the assistance of Warner Brothers Records. Gucci Mane was arrested for the fifth time a year after his previous arrest, when an off-duty police officer noticed a white Hummer driving recklessly down Northside Drive. That white Hummer was eventually located at a body shop a few miles away by local police. They discovered Gucci Mane and another individual arguing inside. When the officers tried to intervene, Gucci Mane ignored them and punched the man with whom he was arguing. Then Gucci Mane was arrested on a variety of charges, including causing damage to government property, obstructing traffic, driving without a license, reckless driving, running a red light or stop sign, failing to maintain a lane, and driving on the wrong side of the road. Although the charges were later dropped, Gucci Mane was still given a probation violation for his actions. Gucci pleaded mental incompetence in court, claiming he was unable to fight the charges. Gucci Mane was then released while the courts determined how to handle the situation. Gucci Mane's run-in with the law isn't an arrest. Gucci Mane was at Waka Flocka Flames House when police raided in December 2010. Police found Gucci Mane sleeping during the raid, arrested him, and then released him without charge. 
Gucci Mane was due in court less than a month later to hear the outcome of his mental incompetence plea. The Georgia court sent Gucci Mane to a psychiatric hospital instead of jail. Gucci was taken to a 111-bed Georgia Psychiatric and Chemical Dependency Facility. Gucci was tested for mental health during his stay, and a week after his release, he got his famous ice cream cone face tattoo. Gucci was arrested for the sixth time in April of 2011, following a visit with his parole officer. According to sources, Gucci Mane asked a woman to get breakfast with him outside a South DeKalb Mall in January 2011. The woman who accepted Gucci's breakfast offer recognized his ice cream cone tattoo. When the woman refused Gucci Mane's $150 sex offer, he forced her out of the moving Hummer. Gucci was sentenced to six months in county jail on September 13, 2011 for battery, reckless conduct, and disorderly conduct. Good behavior got Gucci Mane released early on December 11th. Diana Graham sued Gucci Mane in 2012 and won $58,000 as a settlement. Gucci Mane was arrested for the seventh time in March of 2013. Authorities say a soldier named James asked for a photo with the rapper. Gucci Mane was apparently offended by this as he attacked James with a champagne bottle. A warrant was issued by Atlanta police a few days later, and Gucci Mane eventually turned himself in at the end of March to face the aggravated assault charges. The following day, the judge denied Gucci Bod and ordered him to appear in court on April 10th. Gucci Mane was indicted on one count of aggravated assault on April 10th and posted $75,000 bail two days later. Gucci was arrested for violating his parole the day after he bailed himself out. Gucci Mane was arrested again and released three weeks later. Gucci was arrested again in September of 2013. Sources say his erratic behavior led a friend to call the police. When cops arrived, Gucci Mane threatened them and refused to go to jail. Officers arrested Gucci and found marijuana and a gun on him. Gucci was arrested for carrying a concealed weapon, possessing marijuana, and being disorderly. Gucci Mane's attorney called the cops two days before this incident because he was acting strangely in the office. When officers arrived to remove Gucci from the office, they found him with a 45 caliber handgun and eight rounds of ammunition. Despite finding a weapon, police didn't charge Gucci because he calmly left. Both incidents happened the same week as Gucci's Twitter rant and mall fight in Atlanta. Gucci Mane was arrested on the concealed weapons, marijuana possession, and disorderly conduct charges. After a few months in jail, Gucci Mane was charged with two counts of felons in possession of a firearm. During the hearing, the prosecutor said the charges stem from two September incidents involving two loaded guns. If convicted, Gucci Mane faces 20 years in prison. In May 2014, he was offered a plea deal that would reduce his sentence if he pled guilty. Gucci accepted that deal and pled guilty to gun possession. He was jailed for three years and three months. Gucci Mane was released from prison early on May 26, 2016. His transformation after prison is amazing. Gucci grew muscle and lost weight in prison. He appeared to have grown as a person while incarcerated. Gucci Mane had been out of trouble for three years and married Keisha Kaor on October 17, 2017. He works hard and he plans to stay on track. So, that was Gucci Mane's entire criminal history. We hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you share your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel too so you see more great videos from us. And we'll see you in the next one soon. Thanks for watching.